Hello fellow coders. Today, in this video, I will teach you how to use Python to automate a check sheet with Google Sheets. Don't forget to like and subscribe. To start, let us enable the Google Sheet API. I will leave in the description the link to access it. Enabling Google Cloud API was thoroughly discussed on our previous tutorial so I will just give you the run through. Be sure you already created a project. If not, you can click the new project link. Click the Enable API and Services link. Search for Google Sheets. For my case, I already enabled mine. If it is not yet enabled on your end, there is just a button named Enable. Just click it. Now, let us go back to API and Services to create the necessary credential. Click the credential link. A service account will be needed. For my case, I already have an existing one. Click Create Credential to add a new one. Choose Service Account from the drop-down. Provide the necessary account details then click Create and Continue. Since this check sheet is about motorcycle inspection, I will name the account related to it. Now click Create and Continue. Next, add the role of that account. Choose Owner so the account can read and update the Google Sheet. Click Continue. Click Done. Now the new service account is added. Click on the new account. Take note of the email address of the account since we will grant it access to the Google Sheet. I will just copy it and paste in Notepad so I can easily copy it later. Click Permissions. I think it is already OK. Now click Keys. Click Add Key. Select Create New Key. Be sure JSON is selected then click Create. A JSON file containing credentials is automatically downloaded in your computer. I will just rename the JSON file to Secret Key 2. I think that's it for setting up our Google Sheet API. Now let's create our project directory to start our Python code. Like my previous tutorials, I always place my project directory at Drive D. I will use Visual Studio Code for coding Python. I will open the project directory.
Seems VS Code didn't open the directory. Give me minute to fix this. Okay, I will try using a different directory. Let's create a Python script. There, the Python script was created. I will add some boilerplate code to test if our Python script will run without problem. These boilerplate codes are available in Google Cloud. I will leave in the description the link. I will add a call to print for checking if the script successfully run. Okay. Nothing happened, I was expecting the string to be printed in terminal. Hum, this VS doesn't look so right to me so I will try to restart it. Just give me few minutes to reopen the project directory earlier. There, this is the VS Explorer I am accustomed to. So let's resume the testing. Now, let's run the Python script. This should display test in the terminal below. I think the Python script run without problem. Let me copy the secret key file we downloaded earlier to this project directory. Now let's add some code to use the secret key file. Note this is the first version of creating an instance of credential. I often use this method if I store the service credential in database. Next I will add the method to read the data from our Google Sheet. Remember the email of our service account? Let's copy it so we can grant it access to our Google Sheet. Sorry you can't grant access here. By the way, this is how our motorcycle inspection check sheet looks like. Let's go to the Google Drive. Right click the Google Sheet and click Share. Now paste the email address of our service account. Be 
sure it is an editor then click send. Now that's it for allowing our service account. Let's try to call read sheet. This will read the values from our motorcycle inspection check sheet range C5 to C16. There, these values were the checkpoints from our check sheet. Now, let's try to use the update method. Note, this is just the basic part. For the more complicated part we will integrate it with Flask to create a public API with Python anywhere. For this tutorial, let's add a certain writer and let's say he completed the checkpoint with passing mark of 10. The new writer's data will fill the cells D1 to D16. Oh, I forgot to tell you how to obtain the sheet ID. It is simply in the URL of the Google Sheet. Don't worry, I will be leaving the Google Sheet and the service account as is so you can play with the check sheet. I also made the check sheet accessible to public as viewer so you can view it but will use Python to update it. All files used in this tutorial will also be uploaded. I will leave in the description the link so you can access them. Now time to call the update method. Okay, nothing happened, give me time to investigate the problem. I see, Python problem, there was a space to my call of update. Let's remove the space and this should already work. Okay, the success message was printed. Hooray! Our Google Sheet was updated. The new writer was added. I will try adding another one. Note. Let's change the range to the next column so it won't override the first writer we added. There, the second rider was added. Now for the specifics of the Google Sheet. Example. The checkbox, formula, and conditional formatting. I won't deal with that since it is just like Excel. You can explore that on your own. Next part of the tutorial is to integrate this API with Flask and Python anywhere so we can have a public API for updating Google Sheet. Thank you for watching and happy coding. See you on the next tutorial.